what is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be uh camping in the tesla model 3 and seeing how it is so as you can see i've got my my car right here behind us um we're we're not too far from my house honestly only probably about 45 minutes to an hour away but um there's just a few things that i got for the car um specifically for something that's going to be happening later on this year so um I'm gonna be driving my car from Georgia all the way up to Alaska. Um, it's about five and a half, six thousand miles uh, of driving, and there's gonna be certain points where I'm gonna to have to sleep in my car. So I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to come out here, test it, see if it's good, um, got some things to try out, and hopefully, it makes that experience a lot better. So, as I said, I I got a few things to make my my trip up to Alaska a little bit easier. So, aside from all of the blankets and pillows and stuff, you know, basic things you need to sleep, I bought a test mat. So, if you don't know what test mat is, um, it's a company that creates mattresses for Teslas. So this is the Model 3 variant, obviously, because that's the car that I have. So we're going to set it up um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I have set it up. So this is the test mat. It comes in this, this little bag, which fits in the sub trunk of the Tesla. So for those of you that don't know, there is your trunk like normal cars. But then there's also a sub trunk, which is, is fairly large, honestly. Um, and this fits right in there next to where I keep my, my charging cables. So there's three pieces like this, right? One side, there's a piece of wood on it. It extends out like this and it's four pieces long. So we're gonna get these three pieces out and just set them in the back of the car for now. While these pieces are actually in the bag, they get compressed down. So you might be able to see that this one is already a little bit higher than this one. You might not be able to see that from where, you're, where the camera's at, but they kind of, fluff out if that makes sense so we're going to leave these for a few minutes and i'm going to show you something else that i got to make my trip a little bit easier i'm going to show you something else that i bought off of amazon and it's from a company called best tech so if you open it up it's pretty much a power inverter for your car so you can use this in any car it doesn't just have to be for a tesla but it plugs into the cigarette lighter of your car with one of these little little dongle things and then it actually gives you two outlets and two USBs. So this is really important for me, mainly because, you know, I'm making these videos. I have a lot of electronics, um, drone, uh, camera, GoPro, laptop, iPad, you know, things that need to be charged pretty much. By having this, it's actually gonna be really useful, hopefully if it works, um, to be able to plug this in and, you know, charge my laptop or you know charge my camera this is going to be a cool little cool little thingy to use on my trip so i can charge all my electronics and make hopefully awesome videos for you guys let's go see if the test mat is fully expanded and it's looking like from here that it's it's getting pretty close so now if we look the three sections are expanded so what we need to do is we're going to lower the back seats down. So as you can see, I'm on the, the other side of the car here and I've got our first section of test mat. So the, the way that you're supposed to set these up is the side that has the, the wood on the inside is obviously gonna be on the bottom. You don't wanna sleep on wood, but it also, the wood side needs to be up here at the top. So uh, the wood is right here and the cushions on top, but it has to be at the front of the car. And then you can just kind of extend this portion down. So now I'm going to do that with the, the other two sections. So now from the back door, you should see this. So you got the three sections, one, two, three. So the next step that we have to do is, is throw the, just throw a sheet over it. After putting the fitted sheet on, I would say that it looks pretty dang good. This is a fairly decent sized bed for at least one person to sleep in. You could fit two people in here. Um, might be a little bit of a tight fit, but pretty, pretty decent size. So now the next thing obviously is blankets and pillows. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll leave you guys right here. I would say personally, 
but that looks like a pretty comfortable bed to sleep in. Alrighty guys, so it's a bit later on in the night. It's pretty much pitch black out here now, but i um, just been chilling here. I'm gonna play some games and uh, I'm gonna set you guys up and maybe I'll do like a little sort of like time-lapse, hyper-lapse sort of thing while I'm playing. But um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. Uh, and yeah. So I am now in the back in the test mat, um, got my pillows right here, and I'm, I will say it's pretty comfortable, um, I'm enjoying it. About to put on another movie, I'm gonna press play, watch this, drink my drink, and uh, yeah, just kinda chill for the night I guess. It's already pretty late, um, so I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day. Um, it's about 11.30 in the morning. I slept from about five something to, to now. So um, slept pretty good in the test mat. I literally just woke up uh, to film this. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty good. It's pretty comfy. Um, I wish it was a little bit thicker, but that's that's about it like it, I mean it's it was still really comfortable um, I tried to film a little time lapse for you guys of like the sunrise but I I think I aimed oh, excuse me I think I aimed the camera the wrong direction I just kind of pointed it out the back window to try to get like the sunrise like over the lake but it was a bit cloudy and uh, yeah so I didn't really didn't really work out but hope you guys enjoyed that um, I'm about to get up and Start packing everything up and then probably head home. Anyway guys, I will, uh, I'm gonna get up, pack some stuff up and I will catch you guys in a little bit. All right guys, and just like that, we are all packed up. The Tesla is ready to go. Everything's put back up, uh, ready to go home. Um, so overall, I would say this was a, like a pretty good experience. I'm glad that I kind of came out here and tested it out before. Um, there's definitely a few things that I uh, need to change. Like I think having like another, like a smaller blanket on the bottom would definitely help out just cause it would be a, it would make it a little bit softer. But other than that, everything else worked great. Um, the best tech power inverter was amazing. Um, the mattress was really good. Um, like there's plenty of room in there, at least for me. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video or didn't enjoy it, um, just let me know down below in the comments section. I'm gonna head home now and start planning my next video for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. The car, she's so beautiful. Such a beautiful car.